In this video, we'll be going through the derivatives overlay strategy using futures contracts. So a London-based asset manager has a view that yields will decline. And as such, he wants to use bond futures contracts to immunize a portfolio of long-term debt liabilities where the market value is £300.25 million with a modified duration of 8.2. Currently, the asset portfolio has a market value of £320.13 million and the modified duration is 7.6. The basis point value for each futures contract is £52.41. So calculate the number of contracts the manager has to buy or sell to close the duration gap between the assets and liabilities. So to calculate this, we'll use the equation that links the asset BPV to the liability BPV. So first of all, let's just write it down. So we have the asset BPV plus the H BPV, or which is the futures BPV. And this should be equals to the liabilities BPV. So currently we need to find the asset BPV and the liabilities BPV. Then we'll need to find out how many futures contracts we need okay, to equate the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So the asset BPV is equals to the asset's market value multiplied by the modified duration of the asset. And then we will multiply by 0 0.0001, okay, which is one basis point. Some may prefer to use uh, 1 over 10,000. Okay, but it will lead to the same answer. So the asset BPV in this case, okay, is based on the market value, which is 320.13 million pounds. So that's 320.130000 multiplied by 7.6 multiplied by 0 0.0001. So that will be equals to 243,298.8. Then for the liability BPV, same way, we'll take the market value of the liability. So that's 300.25 million. Multiply by the modified duration of 8.2, multiply by 0 0.0001. So that will be equals to 246,205. So we are done with these two numbers here. So next part, we'll then calculate the portion for the HBPV. So to expand on this formula, so the asset BPV then for the HBPV, this will depend on the number of futures contract multiplied by the futures BPV per contract. And this should be equals to the liabilities BPV. Now we have the two numbers here. So we have uh, the asset BPV, we have the futures BPV, which is uh, 52.41, and we have the liabilities BPV. So now we just need to calculate the number of futures contracts needed. So in this case, I'll just uh, substitute the value in. So this will be 243,298.8 plus the number of futures contract times 52.41. And this is equals to 246,205. So the number of futures contract we need will be 246,205 minus 243,298.8 then we divide it by 52.41 okay so just to calculate the numerator that gives us 2906.2 over 52.41 so in other words here this is telling us that uh, we need to increase the asset bpv okay by 2906.2 in order to close the gap okay so that means there will be no difference between the two uh, bpv between the asset and liability so now let's divide. So that gives us 55.45 contracts. Okay. Now, of course, uh, you can't buy 0.45 contracts. So we'll have to round this to the nearest whole number. So that gives us 55 futures contracts. And since this is a positive number, that means we will have to long okay, 55 contracts. If you get a negative number, you will have to short futures contracts. Now, uh, before we end this, let's just go back to the initial view. Okay, now the view is that the yields will decline. So when yields decline, the value of the assets, okay, will increase and the value of the liabilities will also increase. Okay, so that, that uh, of course, uh, will affect the manager's decision here on immunizing or which is basically hedging. 
Now, uh, here, the asset BPV is uh, 243,000 and the liabilities BPV is 246,000, assuming that both are affected by the same yield. So let's say if the yield, okay, were to, let's say, decline by, let's just use uh, uh, one basis point, okay, or maybe 10 basis point. So what will happen is that when the yield drops by 10 basis point, the asset BPV, okay, uh, which is 243,000 here, tells us that the asset value, okay, will increase by about uh, 2.4 million dollars, okay? So the asset value will go up by about 2.4 million, which is 243,000 times 10, okay? So it will go up by 2.4 million, but for the liability, the value, okay, will increase by about 2.46 million. So if I keep the two decimal place there, so this should be 2.43 million. So in this case, uh, we see that the liability value actually increased more than the asset value. So that would be a drop in the uh, equity value of the fund. Okay, so this will be a negative impact okay, of 0 0.03 million. So in order to prevent this from happening, that is why we have to close the gap. So we need to make sure that we use futures contract okay to increase the bpv so that it negates this negative impact on the fund's equity value now of course uh, this is a hundred percent hedge when we are closing the duration gap okay if let's say the fund manager may not want to hedge the entire thing maybe you only want to hedge 80 percent of the gap so in this case you will just use uh you will just take 80 percent of this total amount okay you will take 2906.2 times 80 percent and then we divide by 52.41. So that will give us the amount that will lead to a 80% hedge. Or we could just take 55 contracts times 80%. So that comes out to about 44 contracts. Okay, if you want to hedge 80% or you want to maintain a 80% hedge ratio.